A prime number is a whole number greater than 1, whose only two whole number factors are 1 and itself. The first few prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, and 29. As we proceed in the set of natural numbers n equals 1, 2, 3, the primes become less and less frequent in general. Mathematicians are stunned by the discovery that prime numbers are pickier than previously thought. The find suggests number theorists need to be a little more careful when exploring the vast infinity of primes. Primes, the numbers divisible only by themselves and one, are the building blocks from which the rest of the number line is constructed, as all other numbers are created by multiplying primes together. That makes deciphering their mysteries key to understanding the fundamentals of arithmetic. Although whether a number is prime or not is predetermined, mathematicians don't have a way to predict which numbers are prime, and so tend to treat them as if they occur randomly, the Ulam spiral or prime spiral, in other languages also called the Ulam cloth, is a graphical depiction of the set of prime numbers, devised by mathematician Stanislaw Ulam in 1963 and popularized in Martin Gardner's Mathematical Games column in Scientific American a short time later. It is constructed by writing the positive integers in a square spiral and specially marking the prime numbers. Ulam and Gardner emphasized the striking appearance in the spiral of prominent diagonal, horizontal, and vertical lines containing large numbers of primes. Both Ulam and Gardner noted that the existence of such prominent lines is not unexpected, as lines in the spiral correspond to quadratic polynomials, and certain such polynomials, such as Euler's prime generating polynomial x2x plus 41, are believed to produce a high density of prime numbers, nevertheless, the Ulam spiral is connected with major unsolved problems in number theory such as Landau's problems. In particular, no quadratic polynomial has ever been proved to generate infinitely many primes, much less to have a high asymptotic density of them, although there is a well-supported conjecture as to what that asymptotic density should be. In 1932, more than 30 years prior to Ulam's discovery, the herpetologist Lawrence M. Clauber constructed a triangular, non-spiral array containing vertical and diagonal lines exhibiting a similar concentration of prime numbers. Like Ulam, Clauber noted the connection with prime generating polynomials, such as Euler's, as in the Ulam spiral, quadratic polynomials generate numbers that lie in straight lines, vertical and diagonal lines with a high density of prime numbers are evident in the figure. The explanation is that on the vertical every column is adding an additional two numbers and by this, every number ending in 0, 2, 4, 6, 8 is divisible by 2, and every number ending on 0 or 5 is divisible by 5, this will explain the constant gaps between columns since it's only adding additional two numbers on every row. This leads to the gaps.